Hey everyone, this is Justin Canavan or Canavan in Japan, your Assemblies of God world missionary to Scuba Japan. I have a couple guests here with me today. They're on screen right now, so you guys can wave and let them know that you're alive. And uh, it's Amber Debatable. and then Pastor George Bernash. And they're, we're going to have Amber share her testimony. She has a really cool testimony of how she got called as a missionary to Japan at General Council 2020. And, and we'll let her share that. And then, you know, another interesting thing is Pastor George. You're a pastor in Missouri, in a rural town in Missouri, and a YouTuber. <laughs> Can can you yep. tell us? Can you tell us about that, Pastor George? It, it almost it really kind of happened accidentally. Uh, a lot of pastors don't make very much money, so in ministry, I've always had a side job. And because I like theme parks and amusement parks, I've worked at various ones, including Disney World down in Florida and Silver Dollar City here. Well, weird things happen, and you deal with all sorts of stuff, and people have a fascination. And my kids got tired of me telling the same old stories about working at the parks. So I started putting them in video form and uploading them to YouTube, and it's actually grown and gained a little bit of an audience. And so uh, that's why all the stuff behind this is actually where I shoot some of my videos, uh, live streams and things like that. Good. Um, where can where can people find and watch that stuff? Uh, look for Sir Willow okay. on uh, YouTube or Confessions of a Theme Park Worker. Oh, man. <laughs> Confessions of a Theme Park Worker. And then, Amber, um, you are kind of following in, in your dad's footsteps a little when it comes to media and the media side of things. We'll get into that and the kind of the vision of what, what's next for you in just a bit. But tell us who you are, where, where you are, what you're doing, and uh, what you're going to be doing. So uh, I'm Amber Bernash. Um, I live in Missouri right now in Crane, which is a teeny tiny little town in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Most people only know it from driving through it. Uh, and I'm planning on going to uh, Tokyo and Japan with the Lawrences, who are, uh, they have a program where they do both media stuff and maintain a church. And I'm going to be mm -hmm. helping with uh, that. They're going to train me how to use the programs on their computers and also to help out with their uh, ministry. Awesome. Awesome. And I, I just actually talked with uh, Jonathan Lowrance and interviewed him about Japan and stuff. Uh, so for anyone that is joining in with this, you can like click through the video, the last video, I think, or two videos that I uploaded and, and, the, and Jonathan Lowrance, uh, his interviews on there, just like this, where we're talking about what's going on in Japan right now and his testimony. And you can kind of find out more about their ministry in a little bit. How can people find out more about you, Amber. Uh, I have a page on Facebook. It's uh, Amber's Missions to Japan, or if you want the short URL, it's facebook.com slash Amber to the number two Japan. Awesome. And I post uh, two posts a week there with weekly updates about both Japan news and about my progress. Awesome. Awesome. So check her stuff out, check uh, out who she is and what she's doing and follow her journey and, and help her get there if, if you can. And today we want to concentrate specifically on one thing. We want to concentrate, Amber, on your calling and how you got called at General Counsel. I, I thought it was a really cool opportunity. And so um, tell, tell us about that. Um, so I had already been uh, struggling to try to find a place with um, moving out, getting my own job after I graduated college. Um, I knew that it was going to be hard already, but it just felt like doors kept slamming in my face. And uh, when I went to general counsel, uh, they had their usual, their missions pavilion, where all the different sections of uh, AG missions would talk about what they did and show you how their lives were like there. And uh, me and my mom were walking around in the, uh, the Europe pavilion, and it suddenly occurred to me that Maybe the reason why doors were slamming in my face was because I wasn't supposed to be trying to open doors in America. And as soon as I had that thought, it was like it dawned on me. It all made sense. I wasn't supposed to be in America. And I had already been uh, praying over the last year for Japan a lot and feeling a lot of uh, concern and care and like I needed to help the people there. And once I had this realization at General Counsel, it just clicked. I need to be in Japan. Like that's why... I haven't been able to get stuff working in America. I need to be over there. That's awesome. 
That's really cool. And I mean, you know, my perspective, you, it was really cool for me because I had visited y'all's church and, and kind of had to, sh- got to share and I've been praying, God, would you call missionaries to Japan? We're praying for mm-hmm. specifically 200 missionaries, 200 missionaries to Japan. And I think uh, right now, as of right now, we have officially 24, maybe 25 missionary units in Japan in total. And we're praying for 200 <laughs> which hey, is we'll a, get there. a lot and and it's impossible but we know who we serve the god of the impossible yep. he can make the impossible possible and so it was really cool i was toby the the taper in in yes. uh yeah, we at, kept chased around by this big <laughs> furry critter at council <laughs> hey i mean you're you're you know confessions of, of a theme park worker <laughs> i thought it would be fitting uh, <laughs> to chase you around in the toby costume but i i i, I played toby and, and then um kind of hopped back and forth between toby and the person leading around toby and mm. then you guys came and uh, kind of shared that uh, that story of I was like, man, God is working and moving in mm-hmm. just incredible ways. Uh, Pastor George, when it comes to that whole story, can you kind of give your perspective of of like what was happening during well, that time for you? Uh, my wife was actually the one with her at the moment. Yeah, uh, but it was kind of funny because when they called me and they're all excited. I almost felt like I disappointed her a little bit because they're telling me about all this and I'm kind of going, yeah, I know. I knew this was coming ahead of time because uh, she's always had, a, I don't know, fascination is the right word, but a love for the Japanese art forms, the anime, the manga, yeah. um, a, a lot of the culture and stuff. Um, and part of that is even back, for me back in high school, we used to have Japanese exchange students. And so I've always kind of had that a little bit. Um, And then just relationally, my wife's a missionary kid. And you can tell Amber, uh, it's this weird thing you can see with missionaries that a lot of times they can be living in the country they're raised in, but they don't quite fit in. Yeah. Because their personality, God has created them for someplace else. And and we can see that with Amber. Yeah. And I mean, I've. I've never been called normal, so I mean, maybe that's yeah. why I'm called to be a missionary. I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, that that's that that's awesome. Um, it's kind of one of those things you kind of start seeing signs of it mm-hmm. over time, and and then you're like, okay, maybe God, are you doing this? Then you start asking that question, and then God leads you from one place to another place to another place to lead you to somewhere else to lead you to where God's calling you to to be, and and uh, that that seems like the story of, of, yeah. of what you're talking about and that that's really cool. And, and I love hearing that. And I'm excited to see what, what God's going to do. Can, can you talk a little bit, Amber, about uh, what specifically are you going to be doing in, cause you're going to be learning some of the programs, but, but what's kind of the heart and goal behind um, that ministry that you're going to be doing in, in Japan? Well, it's um, art is a way of communicating with people Uh, There's a lot of different ways people can communicate, but art is one of the ones that reaches beyond languages because it's a way of the soul expressing itself in emotion or in a specific message. And um, using this to communicate with people in Japan, it breaks down certain barriers so that they can see what you're trying to hit right there. And what we're hoping to do is using things like um, animation and um, videos, uh, uh, layouts for for magazines and uh, different sorts of kinds of media that involve art, and that way they would read or watch and see the message we're trying to show them of hope. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. the way humans work is we have a need to create as a reflection of God, the Creator, yeah. and we yeah. have a need to add to the creation with the skills that He's given us. And showing this to other people allows them to see God working in us. Because they can see our souls moving in this, mm-hmm. and that way, right. they show right. it shows them that there's hope for them too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really good. We we all all have that need of hope, especially in this this time, this season. I mean, the the serious fact is, um, we're we're in unprecedented times. This this yeah. is totally different. We're we're having to rethink how we do things. I mean, as church, we're having mm-hmm. to think how we do things as church and uh, when it comes to digital means, you know, I mean, churches were online uh, doing online yep. church on Sunday. And, and while it, it was forced, but on the other hand, you know, how many people that were reached 
that may have never yeah. entered a church building because they're looking for hope right now. So yeah. I, I think that it's the same vein. What you're talking about right now is um, Japan is a culture that has most people have never even had the opportunity to hear the gospel message preached. And so art and creative means and, and film, I mean, that's that's my side of things, uh, are ways to communicate the message of the gospel in a way that they're using for everything else. So why not use it for the gospel to communicate yep. the message of hope? And I mean, I, I've been talking with Japan, like my friends in Japan right now, and they're on the same stay at home orders that we are. <laughs> and, and even more so now as of today, they're even more so at more uh, quarantining and stuff like that. And so they are at home. They're a captive audience. Yep. They're yep. online. And so the, if we can make things that are creative and that represent who Jesus is and, and show the hope of the gospel, man, I'm all for that. So that, that's awesome. I'm excited to see what God's going to do through you. And so uh, we're, I'm specifically praying for you, Amber, and, and praying that God works and moves and gets you there. And, and he will, if he provides, if he will provide the way when he calls you, he will provide the way. And I also want to ask you, how can we pray for you? How can we specifically pray for you today? Um, if you could pray for me to be able to reach people, because with the quarantine up, it's a lot harder to find yeah. uh, people who are willing to talk about it, even aside from streams and videos. And uh, they don't like to have Facebook conversations as much because they're worried about uh, the situation that's current here. And so right. if you could pray for me to be able to to find people who this can uh, reach, who are who are um, willing to help out with this. Yeah, yeah, that's good. OK, so we'll, we'll pray specifically for you and, and for wisdom, God's wisdom in the process. And, and um, I mean, it's it's just a different day and age when it comes to to everything. And so the serious fact is, as missionaries, um, we're focusing in on and knowing that churches, pastors in churches, we know you're you're facing a very difficult time and, and it's a lot of uncertainty. And so we want to come alongside our pastors and come alongside and, and we're praying for you pastors and and we want to show that the mission of God is both here and abroad and it continues no matter the circumstance. And so we're not asking for financial uh, giving, we're asking for your prayers, and, and we're praying for you, mm. pastors. And so, um, it, people, anyone who's listening, I want to ask you to uh, comment or message us your uh, prayer requests, specific prayer requests, and then we will pray for those. And, and we really believe that God will make it happen. In fact, you know, I've been praying for specific mm. prayer needs uh, that pastors have been communicating to me and I've been seeing answers to those prayers. Like I've been, I, I started checking on them the last couple of days and, and it's just been a really cool opportunity. I, I'm like, I, I, I messaged different pastors and they're telling me, man, yeah, God answered that prayer. I'm like, yes. All right, come on. So, um, God does answer prayer. And so put your Absolutely. prayer requests in those messages and, we will pray, and we're going to, um, at the end of this thing, we're going to pray for those specific needs, Amber, and, and pray for uh, the people of Japan and pray for the specific needs of the people that might be watching this as well. If I can have you lead that out at the end of this, Pastor Pastor George. And, and actually, if I could ask people to pray for your pastors, because yeah. pastors have never ministered at a time like this. They never had to deal with these kinds of situations. There's a lot of pastors that have never preached to a camera before or live streamed. You know, as a pastor, it's you're used to dealing with people as you're talking to them, and now all of a sudden you've got empty chairs. Right. It, it's it's very awkward, and so and then trying to figure out how can you do church, how can you still reach people, and so there, pastors are going to be making a lot of mistakes right now in trying to figure out what's working. Right. So pray for them, encourage them, um, and whatever church you're at, I know it's a scary time with money. Yeah. Trust God with your finances. Don't forget to give to your church because their bills don't disappear either. Right. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's so. Good. That that's really really good word. Keep staying faithful. That yeah. that I mean I think that's that's what you're essentially saying is keep staying yeah. faithful. Yeah. To your church and um, in in both your prayers, your finances, and 
you know, attend online, get in community, find ways to connect with your church. You may not be able to meet in the building, but guess what? The church is the people. And so we can certainly meet yep. online and digitally. That That's that's really cool. Pastor, um, did you have a, a, a little bit more of an encouragement uh, that you were going to share? Um, I do actually. Uh, one of the passages I've actually been kind of clinging to a little bit is um, Isaiah chapter 43 and just share a, a couple verses because a lot of people there's there's a fear and a worry and you know are we going to make it through this and um but I love what uh, God writes in Isaiah 43 he says this is what the Lord says he who created you Jacob he who formed you Israel yeah. don't fear I have redeemed you I have summoned you by name you are mine yeah. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they're not going to sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. And then verse 6, you are precious and honored in my sight because I love you. God doesn't promise to keep us from trials and troubles, but he says he's going to take us through them. Yeah. And we're going to be going through some trials and troubles. It, it's going to be an iffy time. But he says, don't fear. He's the one in charge. He is the one in control. He's going to be the one to hold us up. And even though the rivers may feel like the water is all the way up to our nose, we're not going to drown. He's going yeah. to take us through it. Yeah. Even though we're going to feel the heat from the flame as if we're going to be incinerated, he's going to preserve us and keep us through. Yeah. We're going to make it through all of this, and we're going to come out the other side, and we're going to see God do some amazing things. Um, Israel, at the time that he was speaking this, they were conquered. They had invaders come in shortly afterwards and dispute, disperse them, but they didn't disappear. They're still here, and in the same way, God's going to continue to work with us, too. Yeah, that's a good word. God brings hope. Yes, even absolutely. In the midst of the, Hold on to him. Yeah, yeah. Even in the midst of the most difficult circumstances, God brings yeah. hope, and and so that that's that's really good. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's really encouraging, and that that's my prayer that this is an encouragement to pastors and leaders, <laughs> and 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 an encouragement to pray. And and you know maybe God's going to call missionaries uh, through this awesome. time right now. So uh, let's let's awesome. pray. Let's pray for some specific. Uh, needs uh, for Japan. And then, uh, Pastor George, I'll have you lead us out in prayer for the, the people that might be listening to this. And uh, let, let's pray. God, we love you. We worship you. We thank you for who you are and all you've done. We ask that you would uh, be with Amber right now, that you'd fill her with your spirit, yes. presence, and power, and that you would go ahead of her. You'd provide the way for her, and that you would be with our missionaries all around the world and we pray specifically for our missionaries in japan god that are uh yes. reaching to a people that have never had the opportunity and this is an opportunity to present the message of the gospel to people who've never even had that opportunity god god we pray specifically for our pastors and leaders that are listening and in southern missouri and all around our nation, God, in the United States, we pray for our pastors and leaders that are leading through a time of difficulty that they've never had to lead through before, God, that you would bring them hope, that you would bring them peace, that you would bring them joy, that you would go ahead of them, that you would protect them, their bodies, from this sickness, God, that you would protect their families. And God, that lots of lost people will come to know you during this season of fear, and that they will present the hope of the gospel to their friends. God, we love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you that in the midst of this time that is scary and worrisome and, and fearful for many, it's also an opportunity for us, for many of us, to be able to step back from all of those things that seem to have us running around everywhere yeah. and said to be forced to spend a little bit of time to to think, to contemplate, yeah. and to look towards you. Yes, God. Father, we also know that this may get bad, but at the same time, we're going to see you move in the midst of it. Yeah. Lord, I ask that this would be an opportunity to draw us to you, to draw us closer to you, yes, God. to build those relationships that some of us have neglected, some of us may have never had. 
Yes, God. But to know that you are the one that is going to carry us through it. Yes, God. You are the one that clothes the flowers of the fields. You are the one that feeds the birds and feeds the animals. They don't have to worry about all of that. Come on. And yet we are so much more precious to you than that. Yes, God. Lord God, use this as an opportunity in the midst of the struggle and the pain that we would grow closer to you, that we would know you more, that when the fear begins to speak to us instead, your peace would overwhelm. Yes, God. Lord, help us to remember that you are our fortress, our strong tower against the storm, that it is under the shadow of your wings, like a mother hen gathering her chicks, that we will find refuge and strength. Lord God, we thank you for that. For those of our family and friends that are struggling with loved ones that are sick, God, I ask that you would give them strength and peace. Yes. Let your Holy Spirit touch them and move them and fill them, Father God. Those hospital rooms, touch them, Lord God. The doctors and the nurses and those that are struggling, Father God, move in a mighty way upon them. Keep them safe. Protect them, Father God. But let them also know that you are with them, that your hands are guiding them and holding them up. Yeah. Lord, we thank you. That in everything, no matter how bad it seems, that we can know that you are the one sitting on the throne, yes. that you are the one in charge. It is not madness. It is not the devil, but it is you. Yes, God. And that we can trust you, that you will work all things together for the good of those who love you, who pursue you, that you will do great and mighty things through this. And we thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, uh, everyone listening and watching, I want to just encourage you to keep praying, keep serving, keep thanking mm -hmm. God for what you do have, and keep praying for our missionaries and pastors and those who've never been reached with the gospel. And if you could, go check out what's going on with Amber uh, at her Facebook page, Amber's Mission to Japan, if I'm not mistaken. That's what it is, Amber's yep. Mission to Japan. Like it, share it and follow and uh sharing is caring so if you could share this as well to all your friends it just helps us get it in front of more people and maybe someone will be called to be a missionary because but maybe yeah. someone will come to know jesus because of it share it thank you guys so Amen. much for joining me you guys are awesome stick around for a skype here. for a skype selfie it's it's gonna be an interesting thing you'll know what that is in just a sec you guys thank you for joining us <laughs> and praying for the never reached of japan you guys have a great rest of your day arigato